Yeah, hi, you're with Mike Redding from Google Apps for edu.com. And today I'm just going to show you a number of really simple ways that you can use Google Search to do a whole lot more than just your standard Google searches. Now, we can use Google Search to do a range of things. For instance, we can use Google to graph equations, calculate answers, tell us the temperature in different locations, do conversions, and a whole range of things. So to do this, we simply just follow these simple steps. Just say for instance you wanted your students to be able to bring up a calculator. Probably the simplest way for them to do that would be for them to just type in a simple mathematical calculation and you'll see that a calculator opens up just here on the page and then you can always change those around and use this as uh, your calculation tool. If you wanted your students to be able to graph a calculation, they simply just need to type the equation into the search bar and then Google will graph it for them. So here's a, a quick example of what you can do with graphing. So I'm just going to drop a graph in here. You don't have to type the keyword graph or anything. Just top the equation in and hit enter and you'll see that a graph opens. You can zoom in on these different parts of the graph if you want to and you can have a little bit of interaction here as well, zooming different directions. So this is great because what you can do is just simply change the one of the values and then Google will instantly re-graph it and you're able to see how those changes are made. Now you can type in some really complex graphing equations and I'll show you this one just for interest. Alright, now this one we've got square roots and all sorts of things in here. So I'm just going to graph it and there we have a lovely heart shape just for you guys. Alright, so another way that we can use Google to do some really cool features is conversions. Now, you might have two schools that are working or collaborating on a document and maybe they're using two different units of measurement or maybe your students are just learning units and so we can convert anything. We simply just type convert and then we need to put some units in and then Google will open up a calculator for us. So let's just say, let's convert 30 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. And here is our little calculator and we can change this. What would it be if it was 40 degrees Celsius? Well, that'd be 104 degrees. Fahrenheit. So you can make those sorts of changes all the time. If you wanted to, you can change your different units of measurement just here as well. And by the way, you can change from temperature to length and mass, speed, all sorts of things uh, just here. One of the fun ones you might want to like to do with your students is digital storage. Uh, that's quite an interesting one there. So bits to bytes and so on. So you might also want to convert finances. So this one you might just want to convert Australian dollars to US dollars for instance, if we do that, well, here's our equation. One Australian dollar is worth 96 US cents at the moment. We can also do this with weather. So you don't have to go to all these different weather apps. All you need to do is simply type in weather and then the place that you would like to know the weather in. So let's just say we wanted to know the weather in Sydney today. So right now it's 22 degrees in Sydney. We can see a bit of a forecast and so on. I can change that to any city I want. So let's just say New York. Right now it's 10 degrees in New York. Or for those of you who want to know Fahrenheit, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit here. So let me just show you one last thing around how we use Google for time. There's two ways we can do this. We can set a timer that you might want to display to the class. And to do that, you simply just type in timer into the search bar. And here is our timer with our hours, our minutes, and our seconds. And you just click start and a little buzzer will go off at the end of that. So that could be really cool. The other thing that we can do inside Google search around time is we can find out what time it is in any part of the world. Now to do this, you simply just type in time and then the location. So just say I wanted to know what the time was in New York right now. I can just type in New York and here it will tell me up the top it's 12.39 a.m. New York time. I can change that to say London and here it is here, ready for us to go. So you can find out the different time zones and how they work and your students can try and predict and all sorts of things and then check their answers using Google search. Now if you tied that back into using Google Forms and the time function in that to answer questions, that would be fantastic. 
So if you're using Google Search to do creative and innovative things with your students, we'd love to hear about it. If you'd like to leave a comment in the comment section wherever you find this video, whether that would be on the Google Apps for edu.com blog or on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash teachers training, or maybe you're even watching this video through iTunes, if you could just leave us a, a short comment about what you're doing with your students, we'd love to see that. Until next time, thanks for watching.